Hey, this is Matt from Shadows Fall, and you're watching BringTheNoiseUK.com. Ian Arnold from BringTheNoiseUK.com, here with Shadows Fall. How's it going? Very well, very well. How's the current tour going? Is it all, all good? Tour's been great, you know, shows have been good, crowds have been, it, been amazing. It's, uh, I can't complain at all. Would you say you could have a highlight so far? It's a bit too early. Oh, that's hard yeah, to say. Exactly. Um, Hopefully tonight will be a highlight. You know, we had a yeah, a lot of really great ones. You know, some small crowds that were just phenomenal, like say Oslo or which or uh, Copenhagen was a smaller crowd, but just really energetic. Or larger crowds like last night in Manchester was was phenomenal. So I think tonight will be uh, be another fun London, one as well. See if you can make it make it a big one. Yeah. Um, six albums, eleven years. Did you ever think it would go this far? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, it's actually been 13 years, believe it or not. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, just, when you said 11 years, like, oh, is that right? It's like, oh, wait a minute. No, it's uh, a lot of bands don't aren't even that lucky to even get that far. So, uh, I mean, anything I never expected to go this far. So, anything beyond this is yeah. is, is great. You know? Would you say it's been a bit of a or is it kind of smooth journey? Or no, there's it's hard, definitely hard a lot of hard work. There's, I guess anything. Anything great, uh, any, anything great worth having is not going to get handed to you. Yeah. You know, so it, you know, just putting in the extra effort, and making it a hard journey, I think makes you appreciate it more as well. So I'm kind of glad that it was a, quite a, a journey. Of course, some days I probably wouldn't think that way. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like you've earned it, but some days you wish it was just a smooth day. Yeah. But you know, some days are easy days, some days are hard days. It's just like anything else. Cool. Um, and latest album, how was it working with? Was Chris Harris? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's why well, I mean, he's pretty much the sixth member of the band. We've been working yeah. with him since he had his first four track, and he was making yeah. demos in his living room, and we were just starting out. So, so that's easy, you know, with working with home. But we wanted to try something different for vocal production this time, yeah. which is why we did the music pretty much self-produced and did it there with him, and and then went down with uh, with the Elvis Basquette down in Virginia to do vocal work, where he's a little more familiar with uh, layers and things yeah. like that. Yeah. What would you say he brought to the album? Is it a new sort of a new shape to the album? Extra Definitely, I think I think it just it just sounds sonically sounds bigger. There's yeah. a lot of little tricks that we did as far as like layering vocals and different melodies that you wouldn't even sublimity, you wouldn't even really know that they're there. Yeah. But if you hear the isolated tracks like, oh wow, that's really in there and it's just tucked in to make it just sound bigger. Kind of those old school eighties like Def Leppard vocal tricks, yeah. you know? So Doing that on this album, is there any tracks you sort of play live and you just sort of get in your head, hold on, if we could only go back and add all of that in, do you ever get, do you want to go back and perfect everything or are you just like, no, no, I mean, it's, it, it's the journey you took. Well, that's, you know, playing live and recording an album is a completely different thing. I mean, if your live show sounded exactly like your record, why would anyone pay to buy a ticket? They just sit at home yeah. and listen to the album. That's, you know, they, when you go to see something headphones. live, you want something a little bit different. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, but that's what live is. That's, yeah, you know, and the, so that's what we kind of like the, the just the you know the raw grassrootsness of just going out there and doing the songs as you would in a rehearsal room, yeah. but on the album having it a little bit slicker just so you know you can enjoy it more you know at home. Cool. Um, with playing live, is there? What, could you pick one song that you love playing the most? Personally, lately, anything off the new record, just because it's fresh for me. Yeah. You know, as opposed to something that's you know, twelve, thirteen years yeah. old. We've been playing every single night for that long. I'm kind of like, all right, again, you know. Um, and there are those songs that you know the the crowd, the crowd ex expects to hear, and you do that. Um, and some of those aren't bad either. But it's a lot of the new stuff has just been a lot of fun lately because it's still fresh for us. Is there any song that the crowd always wants you to play, and it's a bit of a saga, and I've got to do it again, guys? Uh, it seems like something like The Light That Blinds has turned into that song just because of being on Guitar Hero 2 and like yeah. it's really familiar to a lot of people and they always kind of would want to hear it. And I still have a great time playing that song too. I'm not sick of it or anything. It's not, it doesn't seem like a chore, yeah. you know, but it, but that, that seems like the one song that kind of always needs to be there. You know? With the song being on Guitar Hero 2, can you complete it on... Hard. I've only played Guitar Hero maybe yeah, twice in my entire know. life, and I'm terrible at it. It's fine. I own the name Spastic Hands for playing Guitar Hero. I'm rubbish. Uh, yeah, I, I can't do it. Not good. Um, what would you say uh, is a highlight of being in Shadows? For what do you love most about being in the band and sort of the journey you've taken? 
it's you know it's it's all good it's it's the the, the the greatest thing is is to when you sit down and realize that you know something that you just created out of nothing and something that you love to do because it was fun yeah. and because it was like you know it was it was the hobby thing it was the after you go to your 8 hour work day yeah. and after you go to classes or do whatever so that's what you did for fun and it turns something that is so enjoyable to you personally into a career and to be able to do that is just that's something a lot of people don't have the luxury of doing and I'm very fortunate for that to, to have happened. Cool. Um, you've previously been nominated for two Grammys. Yeah. Does it bother you, the whole nominating, not winning, or are you just like, it doesn't really matter? It's just the fact that we're even invited to go to something yeah. like that is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so you, you never expect to win anything like that. We never do. We just like to go to the party, you know? <laughs> you go and leave, leave your mark. It's, it's just a fun party, man. That's, that's really what it comes down to for us. I mean, it's still it's kind of crazy to even have the, the nomination there. But, you know, we never expect anything more than to just go out there, have a good time, and say, you know, thanks for supporting, you know? Cool. Talking of parties, are you a party band? Do you like to... Or do you think after, after all this time, you just sort of... I don't party at all. Nice. What's no that? idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Already? Good luck. Where's the whiskey? That's later. Not for, not for him. Oh, for him. He doesn't need it. Whiskey, man. Look, he's ordering it online. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, coming up for the 2010, what, what are your plans? We're going to be touring through the rest US of the year. Tours. Yeah, we've got a couple US tours lined up. I'm hoping that we'll be able to come back for some festivals like Download and such. Um, that is yet to be determined, but hopefully it'll happen. And we're just going to stay on the road for the rest of next year and try to get the word out about the new record. Well, obviously touring touring a lot. Um, do you miss home a lot? Or is, is oh, road, abso- absolutely. Home, yeah, it, it's a little bit of both. You know, when, when we first started touring on this cycle after the record was done you know, in September, we hadn't been on an extensive tour in well over a year. So it was I was really looking forward yeah. to it, and we're kind of in the zone and. Now that it's, you know, we've been going out nonstop since then, a few months into it, it turns into one of those things, holidays are coming, like, all right, I want to go home for a while, but I know I'll sit at home for about four weeks and I'll be bored as hell and be like, I want to come back out. So, um, with, with touring compared to studio, is there anything to prefer or is it just part of the job? It's, it's all both, you know, little, each one has its own, you know, ups and downs or whatever. I mean, the studio is fun and all that, but it's a bit frustrating as well. I mean, being the road is kind of easy, more or less. It's just the conditions can be rough. But, you know, you go out there, you play your set. It either goes well or it doesn't. There's not really anything you can do about it. Whereas in the studio, if you screw it up, you got to do it again and again and again and again and again. And it gets a little more frustrating. Whereas if you just have a bad show, well, hell, you had a bad show and hope tomorrow's better. Is there one certain member of the band that in the studio always gets it wrong and has to go over and over and over again or? not particularly i mean every everyone's got their tough spots we, when we go into track since it is so expensive yeah. to record we try to make sure that we it. are very well rehearsed before we even very step quiet. foot into the studio so we can get it done as quick as possible and just save as much money as we can it just it adds up really fast we try to stay as on top of it as we can cool awesome and last thing any messages to the uk fans uh thanks for the support and uh We'll see you out there on the road. Cool. Ian Arnold, bringing the noise UK.com, signing off.